Now we've got a pack full of mods, but first of all we're going to go over some of the updates to the maps, and then we'll get on with the rest of the mod review, and as always, time taps will be down below. Starting off with some of our updates, we've got the Glen the Fund, this is by Cavalier Roy. It's been updated as Changelog 1.4, new fill types for the Farm Productions DLC added to the cell points, and the PD has been updated. Note, there, this is game save compatible, so no new game save is required. Now for William Mania 22, this is by Poor Boy Modding and Catalyzer Industries. Changelog 3.0, and this will require a new game save because the map itself has been reverted back to the original version, the second version has been removed, added new placeables, added materials, added new fill types, added fuel at the shop, new trees has been added, added new cell all point, small quarry now has ender stone fill point, a new sawmill, and many other fixes and additions, so I may do a little map tour on this, but for now that is William A22, I'm going to head to our final mod for the day. And the last map update is somewhere in Lower Bavaria, this is by Paco, Changelog 1.0.0.1. Note, this will require a new game save. Supermarket has been added as now cell works. Access to the Burghof has been adapted, road no longer floats here. Two trees off the west of the map from the road. So two trees to the west of the map away from the road, not sure what that means there. Bit of translation maybe, I'm not sure. But yep, yeah, smooth hard edges in fields and grass has been removed from the streets. And yep, yeah, just a reminder, this will require a new game save. And now for our new mods for the day. So, first of all, we've got the Medium Barn SJ01. This is by Lysoil. 13.6 megabytes download, 10 slots for console. And yeah, essentially what it is is a brick and water, sort of an Eastern European kind of barn and that, but again, you can use this on pretty much like old British farms and that, old German farms, and pretty much even American farms even and that. But yeah, you'll find this under buildings, under sheds, go towards near the end, 25 grand to place, daily upkeep of 50 bucks and that, no colour options, and yeah, you've got a 4 bay drive through ball, also you've got these little gates and that, these are cool, but well, these are doors. So yeah, they slowly shut, they do take a while to shut. Like so. But yeah, overall it's not too bad, so from this side you've got your latches over here. And on this side the latches are on the outside as well, so yeah, I'm not sure on that, but yeah, it was a bit of a fun open them, open them it was, so for example, these ones here, you could open from the outside, but on this side, you can't open, yeah, we could just about open it from the outside, you could right close up to it, but it's designed to go from in one way and out the other side, and close by first on that. Also, you got your lights on that, and Lights off, lights on. So yeah, those two lights are controlled by this, and the other two lights are controlled by the other light switch over there. But yeah, so we've got a medium-sized John Deere here. Could maybe fit a combine in here, but not a... Yeah, I think you're going to struggle with a massively large one. But yeah, overall, it's not too bad. And that is the Medium Barn SJ01 by the Soil. Next, here we are, we've got the washing area. This is by Holden HB Modding. 1.88 megabytes to download, 22 slots for console. And yep, essentially what this is, is a washing area. And this is very similar to what we seen, oh, when was it? Yeah, the 20th of March and that. When, same more than that, had the Disinfecto Basin. Yeah, I think it's actually looking at the pics between the two and that. Online. Okay, slightly different than that, but you sort of see where it all goes. But anyway, so this is the washing area, so you got a bay here with your on and off ramps. It's got your barricade barriers and that, that protects all of your water pumps, horses and that, your hoses, buckets, 
chemicals and all that, and pallets of goods and drums and that. But yeah, essentially what this is, is a little area with a culture jet washer. And yeah, just clean off your vehicles like so. So yeah, I've got our combine, got another tractor there, very dirty. But yeah, I think this is pretty much like the base game culture and that, that we can see in build mode. So yeah, we've got the, that one there. So yeah, it's pretty much, yeah, exactly the same, I think. But yeah, you can find the washing area under build mode. And under, yeah, so buildings and tools. And as I mentioned, 22 slots goes down to 1. No other color ops. The upkeep of 15. And yeah, it says on the mod hub in that, it says vehicle of almost all sizes can be cleaned in the washing area. And I've gone with the Colossus here, and you can see pretty much there is plenty of room here, so even if have got something like the versatile like quad tracks, and all the case quad tracks and that, con harvesters and that, or even like the large forestry stuff and that, again, you can pretty much fit any equipment within this little area. But yeah, so that is the washing area by Holden HB Modding. Next. Now for the class 600 kilograms slate weight, this is by Maurice 3001, Rick Black labeled TWD modding, 2.6 megabytes to download, 5 slots for console, and yep, essentially what this is, is a weight, a class weight, the weights can be adjusted from 600 to 2200 kilograms or 2.2 tons, initial price is 670, and you can find this under tools, under weights, Go towards the end, and there you go, 670 initially, and got quite a different styles of front weight, so you've got a one just here with a metal pin hook, and yeah, was that another hook hook or something like that? But then you go up to 800 kilograms, 1000 kilograms, but you got the different options with the weights and that, so 1000, 1400, 1800, and 2200 kilograms. Up to 800 costs nothing more. For an extra of 4000 kilograms, it will cost you 1070. 1400 kilograms will cost you 1520. 1800 kilograms will cost you 2400. And then lastly, the 2200 kilogram front weight costs you 2320. And yeah, as I mentioned, comes with a mail pin hook in that. So yeah, hop into our close tractor here. Look up. L1. Raise and lower the weights as always. And that's for the tractor and that. But yeah, so we'll go over here to our trailer. Look it up like so. Not too bad, not too shabby. Does the job is needed. Does look pretty decent in that. But yeah, so that is the class 600 kilogram sleep weight by Morris 3001, Rip Black Label TWD Modding. Next. Now for something a little bit different, we got the Forest Machete. This is by Guyan FS. 0.19 make voice download. No slots on console. Yep, yeah, essentially what this is, is a machete that you use to chop down your tree, so... Got our trees over here. Actually, oh, I can actually hear that sound there, so... Let me get this repositioned. So, rather than sound like a chainsaw now, like you get with some of these custom axes and all that got the, the proper sound effect of a machete. Okay, that didn't work that time. There we go. Yeah, I'll just a bit delay that first time around. But yeah, he made me asking, how could we get something like this on FS? Simply because a machete, like with an axe and that, is a tool. It is not a weapon. But obviously, you no, know, get some bad characters, bad individuals, or creative ways of 
defending your home, let's put it that way. Against some unnecessary people you don't want. But yeah, so at the end of the day, no one's shitting that. Now you can chop down your trees. And yeah, it costs 200 to buy. And yeah, so you'll find this under tools and chainsaws. 200 to purchase. And yeah, so with a white blade. If I go to landscaping trees, I won't find something like a yeah, large oak. And a American elm, if I can find it. So these are like the biggest trees you can normally find. So yeah, let's get the axe out. Not the axe, the machete. Yep, yeah, it is cutting not too bad. And again, you can see by the length of the blade itself, has no issues with cutting these trees up. And obviously if you want, trim the trees down, like so Nat. Has a similar effect to a chainsaw net. But yeah, overall, not too bad. And actually, I do like that quite a lot. So yeah, that is the Forest Machete by Guyon FS. Next. Now, for the Z302 Orkin 2, this is by Zimoff. 11.29 megabytes to download. In terms with slot counts, it is 10 slots on console, giving down to 2. I may ask in, why is that? So, first of all, you'll find this under Tools and Forestry Harvester Headers. Go towards near the end. So yeah, 2,100 to purchase. And it says it can do grass, wood chips, chaff, and sugar cane, weirdly. But yeah, we'll have a look at that. Again, this could be me having a look at it wrong. But yeah, so you've got your Forestry Harvester in that option. So you've got Screw on. Or fasten, so that's just basically I have how the uh, piping out and all that is attached. So you got your pipes connected to it with rivets or bolts in that. But then also you got a mulcher option, so you can mulch your fields. A potato peeler, which is the horn and topper for your potatoes. And then yeah, go back to the machine function of the force officer. Well, Brands, Lizard, so you got your 185 R15Cs, 16 inches, so 15 or 16s, Big ATs, AS504, TF81A1, and back to Lizard, so limited tire options. The working cover, so that's going to be this cover here at the front, so this is going to be like your input area, so you've got your Torpoint 2, Torpoint 3, None, and back to single large. Type of pipe adjustment, so this is going to be the cables here, so different colour cables and different anchoring points. And basically what this is, this is like the old version and that's like a modern new version, so basically this is like a little machinery that can be designed or let's say renovated, so keep it as an old spec, you know, from the good old days, or to have a bit of a modernization. PTO shaft cover, so you got your round, semi round, square, none, and back to round. Pressure, oh, sorry, tire pressure decals, so you got none, 20 atmospheres, or 0 0.2 megapascals, 20 atmospheres tool. So that's going to be on the attachers to the wheels. 0.2 megapascals too, so that's going to be on the inside or on the outside, or none. Now for your wheel attached type, so again, older or newer, so this is what I mean, like, that's how you will typically do it originally. But if you're also going to do that today, you'll have this with, with the jack stands and that, or the jocks, whatever it's called. Reflectors, got old or new, so just based on position. Oh, yeah, I think that's it. Yeah, position of the reflectors. The newer you got one reflector compared to two. Or newer. So that's going to be just the actual hitch type itself. Doesn't change the functionality of it. Clutch cover, you got older. Older of a box, so that's going to be here in front of us. Never, or sorry, newer, or none. And back to older, older of box and newer. Then 
I think Zassi, almost, so yeah, you're a Thatcher, so this is going to be important because, as I explained in a sec, it was a pain in the ass to find something compatible with this because, yeah, so you got your Thatcher type in the middle, top, bottom, and back to the middle. I'll explain that in a sec. And decals, you got your one, two, So that is one without that bit there at the back. Three gets rid of it all. But these are back. Four. So yeah, this is like a Polish one to tell by the language. Five. And then six. Which is no decals. So if you want no decals at all, go with six. And then, yeah, it's got little variations of there again, like with speed limiters and that. I do like that, so... Then you got your drum cover, you got older, newer. That's going to be here. What's that, two at the front? So... Not to you. There we go, if I go to none. Now we'll go to our drum. Ah, there it is. So, yeah, it's a, tr a drum cover here at the back. So, got your newer and older and that. So, yeah, it took a minute there to notice. But, anyways, main colors you got grays, reds, oranges, blues, grays, reds, and blues. A whole plethora. So, main color is going to change that. Your PTO shaft got a variety of yellow. Color of the decals is yellow or black. Color of the wheel hubs. So that's gonna be the middle, so let's go with the blue. There we go. And then that's the rim colors. Got your reddies, oranges, and all that. And then you got your blues. And there we go. So here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I've got the mulcher as potato peeler. So the mulcher is the blue one on the right. Yeah, if you look at those two initially, you will not be able to find a difference in them at all. But anyway, so, but your unfold header, that will bring the thing out. Lower set header, elbow on circle, to right. And also that opens. Oh no, I thought I was opening up flat there. No, it's just how that is positioned. Thank you. Let's go and start mulching. Decent, not too bad. Can hire a worker to mulch. Interesting. I think that's the same with everything else. If you remember, to work with the other bits. But yeah, so that is your mulcher. Cannot hire a worker, just to remind. But anyways. Now let's head on to the horn and top and that, which basically just removes the top of the potatoes and that, and leaves it ready to harvest. So again, lower, turn on, it's already unfolded. Can't hire a worker, which is a shame. But yeah, so that gets the potatoes ready to harvest by removing the top ends, or if you want to delay when they're ready to grow and that. As a bit of a role playing. Yeah, you can remove those or delay when you harvest them. Just cut off these and then pop your uncle. You know, look at the reference to Clarkson's farm net. And if we go into our PDA, go to what's ready in harvesting the net. You can see, we've got a small sliver of crop that is ready. You can see a lot better. But yeah, no high workers in that, so yeah, that's a bit of a downside on it. But yeah, so that ain't the worst part of it. Those two as a row is fine. What really art my nerve on this, and what's took forever to find a trader suitable with a some form of decent capacity. 
So yeah, we got the Forge Harvester one here. Yeah, so if we go lower header net, turn on. But yeah, when you lower the header net, there's no like lower raise net. Yeah, as we first elbow circle, it doesn't change in the helm menu. Anyways, pipe in, pipe out, does that. To get our angle, like so. And then, yeah, again, you can adjust your trailer net. So, yeah, this trailer here, this is what I had to grab from a, another model net. So, because with the, basically with what we've got here, we had a very similar one by PRJ. Uh, when was it? Start of January? Yeah, 9th of January it was. Which had, it's basically a similar version to this. But I have a more older version. I'm not saying it's a copy or anything. What I'm saying is a more of a modern one. And this is a more of an older one. But yeah, thankfully PRJ also uses or made and released the auto drop size trailer that puts, you know, your chaff net into here. Cause yeah. Try to find somewhere to unload this onto a trailer. Was a pain in the ass, and I didn't get this one set up because I had to go with the, the low hitch option. Yeah, low hitch. Because if I went with, you know, went with how he was playing up, I'm pretty sure it's the same with medium. If I ain't perfectly aligned, there's no much giving to me because, yeah, I'll show you the trailers I tend to use in that on my mod reviews and that. It's things like these, the TARDIS stuff. Yeah, I know they're pretty high off the ground. Yeah, even something like that does not work, so you're limited to something like this. Maybe some of your more older trailers. Yeah, you can't re <laughs> you can't reuse those. I doubt you can be able to use like the DKS, so literally you can be like look something like this and that. But yeah, it says it can do sugar cane. Actually, one thing I want to check a sec is not you here. So under our traders, okay, that can't do naps over there. So let me just go and just dump that on the ground. So yeah, in theory, should be able to do the popular snap, but yeah, Sugar King, I struggled. Unless you got to use like small trailer snap, but we'll give that a little test in a sec, but anywho. Turn on. And this is popular, right? Yeah, it's popular, right to harvest. It says it could do wood chips and that because again, we have a look. See, it's got the wood chips icon. And this is like picking up wood chips and that. If that's the case, then what's the point? Okay, so let's go and drop you a sec. Now let's test the sugar king because this is going to be an interesting one. So I'm going to set to unload in here. Ignore that, that was with prompt instruction on. But yeah. Try and lower it. And yeah, we're absolutely doing jack crap here. Should have came in that. Ah, unless. Ah, unless I guarantee that is it, right? So get you hooked up. And for the sugar king, at least that is a new. So alright, what about the poplars and that? The wood chips and that because again, if I'm using this wrong, hit someone let me know because I am absolutely amused with this. No. Let me try 
try one more thing here a sec. So yeah, I've got a small trader. You can see the pipe is pointing in. Yeah, unfold pipe and that. Yep, still not able to harvest the sugar cane, so I've tried with all three different versions. I even try this one's well, got the different fasteners and that, and absolute nothing. So, at the end of the day, this mod here is really useful for like your small mulching of small mulching potato uh, fields or on topping, or for small grass fields and that, when you got a little bit of silage and that, or just generally cut a bit of grass and that. So, it makes that is to it. 302 Orkin 2 by Zimoff. Next. Asa Laser Sugar Cane 7 times. This is by Star Brazil and Econet Modding. And for once, it's not Monday when we get a historic and connect modding collab mod drop. But yeah, this is 8.74 megabytes to download. Slot count is 9 goes down to 1. And essentially, what this is a 3.7 meter subsoil that requires 320 horsepower and costs just under. 33 grand. So we head down to our tools and subsoyers. 32,833 to buy. 6 miles an hour working speed, 3.6 meters working width. Of course, rigid trade horsepower, as I mentioned, and 6.8 tons. There are no configurations. So, yeah, first of all, let's have a little close up. Do love to detail it on springs and that. Oh, yeah, I know they can connect mod in that. Uh, some rules to work with things like that now on some of their other mods and that. But yeah, just the level of detailing. <laughs> but yeah, let's hop into our John Deere here. And we'll give this a little test. So, put this up. So, L1, drop, and that is it. And wait a minute. Ooh, I do have that metal screeching. Nice. But yeah, apart from that, there's nothing else apart from dropping in that, so one thing to note on that, unfortunately. But yeah, let's go to our field. Lower this. And off the way we go. And but yeah, I can see that might be a little bit annoying to stop in that, but to me personally, it's not too bad. But yeah, I'll sort of put work on it. And see how it does with turning around. See, so there we go. It's at the end. So go raise up. It's got some decent turning space there, so shouldn't have an issue. Maybe some a bit of a wide berth for that. But again, this may not be perfectly flat and smooth, but overall, it's doing all right. Let's so line myself up. And yeah, overall's not too bad, so maybe get away with going a bit wider than that, maybe, but overall's not too bad. Let's <laughs> move away from that street for a sec. But yeah, this is basically a subsoil now that's used in commonly in Brazil now for the sugar cane fields and that. And yeah, apart from that, at the end of the day, it's a simple 3.7 meter cultivator, not cultivator, subsoiler. And yeah, with a high horsepower requirement of 320 horsepower, those could put some people off. But at the end of the day, this is a realistic mod that, very realistic and very detailed. Let's get on top of it. So yeah, that is the Stara as a laser sugar cane, sometimes by Star Brazil and Econet Modding. Next. Now for a another star mod. This is the Stara Hercules 6.0 2060, and it's made by Stara and Econet Modding. This is actually by Agritono. 17.68 megabytes to download. Slot count is 14 goes down to one. And essentially, what this is a self-propelled spray now that can do your lime or fertilizer. And yeah, you can find this under vehicles. Under crop protection, 166 grand to buy initially. 
And it's got 220 or 280 horsepower, weighs 10.1 tons, 36 meter working width, 50 miles an hour working speed, and actually this can also do manure as well. So the capacity normally it'll be 6,000 litres, or a fictitious 12,000 litres, so a double unrealistic capacity in a way. We'll set up to got your Hercules 6.0. Or sorry, engine, yeah, Hercules 6.0. Or with the chip tuned version, that goes up to 280 horsepower. Or brands, Michelin's. So you got your tires with and without crop destruction. And next you got your Continentals. Got three A's and that with and without crop destruction. And actually I want to test that a sec, because I don't think I've tested that. Trailer Borg, Mitas is first lines. Now for your window film, so this could be your window tint, so none. Tint 1, which is about 25%, is that either like 75 or 100%. Reverse alarm, yes or no, so when you're backing up, this will make an alarm sound or not. Thermal, no or yes. And basically, that's just a little thermal cup on the left side of the car, like a little blue blue thing there. Probably just got a bit of hiccups at the moment. Number that goes from 1 all the way up to 10. That's going to be just on the hood there. And if you got Precision Farming, you can have the Aceria Pro Compact. That will cost you just under 50 grand. License plate. <coughs> so yeah, let's go and test this one first of all. So, first of all, we're in cab and we've got Control Group 1. So that's going to be your gauge, door, seat, and steering column. So, L1, right stick, left to right. And that's going to just make your bills go wide, like so. L1, R1, left stick, left to right. It's going to open and close your door. L1, R1, right stick, left to right. It's going to adjust your steering. And yeah, so you can just adjust the tilt and how far forward or back you want it. Then R1, right stick, left to right. Gonna adjust the seat position and right stick up and down with R1. Gonna adjust the height. Onto control, nothing there. But R1, right stick, left to right. It's gonna adjust your right mirror. And up and down with R1, it's gonna adjust your left mirror. And that is it for that. Got cover, open and close. Very quick action there. And there's no adjustable in widths for the fertilizer and that, so one thing to note there. But yeah, we're spraying and at 15, 16 miles an hour, doing yeah, a fair bit in that, decent capacity in that. Not too shabby if I say so myself. But yeah, one thing I want to do is go to you, because this is the non crop destructive tire. So I, I know we looked at a mod recently. And I don't think this was back by Agritono. No, because I think the last mod I did was the F350 pickup in that. So. But yeah, I know we had one mod recently where it it was like back to front, so this is without crop destruction, and crop destruction is on. But yeah, so in theory, you shouldn't be destroying crops. A lovely jubbly, are oh, you like that? Someone's actually got it correct for once. Unlike with, fortunately, the other mod that who done something like this recently, but the yeah, app mod needs an update. And if we get the other version, you tap around. <clears throat> and also, I like how the ladder goes up and go in and out of it as well. That is nice. So, uh, also, you got your lights, indicators. So, it's going to be on your mirrors at the front and your tail lights at the back. I love that LED strip. Beacons. There we go, not too bad, not too shabby. But yeah, so now we've got this. And 
also want to put in manure, so decent fill up rate in that to shred that weight. And actually, yes, it does look like it's got manure in. I ain't got an option for application rates in that. But no, that's just deactivate automatic application rate with uh, what's it position farming, so let's see how much manure it actually consumes. And also it is less in width, what's that? Six meters or so with the manure spreader. Yeah, something like that. And if you come out of here, have a look. That is perfect, I think. Yep, yeah, that is perfect, so not too bad. But yeah, now I want to test the crop obstruction with these tires. If you want non crop obstruction, get the tires with no crop obstruction. Apart from that, a nice little mod here, and that is the Star Hercules 6.0 2016 by Agritono. Next. Now for the Cot Manure Pack, this is by HR Forest and Zoidball. 23.43 megabytes of download, and this is a pack involving soy tanks, soy spreaders, and distributors, including those distributing cultivators. And yeah, so this contains two dollies, two different soy containers, a soy spread tanker, soy spread, or sorry, soy disc cultivator, and three different slurry distributors that doesn't have the cultivating option so yeah first of all we head down to our tools and dollies correction one dolly not two and yeah slot count for that is four goes down to one very similar to the base game just like more expensive but yeah so you will say you got your design one design two with the white walls three Four with the chrome rims and that, back to one. Attacher type two. So you've either got a pin hook or a ball, well, yeah, female ball pick or a pin hook in that attacher. Main color in that, and this is going to be for everything. So you've got a huge plethora of color. So you've got your mount reds, got pink and reds, got more of a light pink. Orange, got all your man colors, your tatra colors, and got something like your special colors in that. Not too bad, not too shabby. So that's that. And now let's go to our sorry tanks. Go towards the end. So, yeah, first of all, you got your two sorry containers. And both of these are sem slots, goes down to one. One holds 55,000, other 65,000 litres. Slightly heavier in weight for the heavier one, but apart from that, not too bad. And the difference in two and a half grand. Similar wheel setup options, so I'm going to go over those. Main colour changes the actual tanker itself. Rear protective, so that is the little bumper there at the back. Then you got your docking funnel colour. Then you got your label colour, so it's going to be the labels on the sides. And then lastly, you've got your rim colours. Then moving on, you got your two Garant TSA 30,000, and you got a two axle and a three axle version. And these are 15 slots, goes down to one. 3,000 litre capacity. And once again, build setups, all exactly the same, pretty much. And also you've got your beacon, so you've got your beacon 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. Flexor stripes, so that is going to be orange, white, yellow, or back to orange. So it's going to be these little strips here on the sides. Main colour, again, you know what it does, but I'm just going to quick go over these, so... Label cutters, all rear protector and that, rim cutters. So yeah, I'm gonna go over those again. The next you got your Garant PQ 30,000 and this is gonna be 
your tanker that will be used to spread in on fields. Whilst these are just like transporting liquids. And these are interim storages for liquids that you use to fill up other stuff. But yeah, so you got the t tanker for us to spread or whatever it's called. 189 <laughs> grand to buy. 9 meters working speed for 2000 years and work a bit depends on what you're going with. We'll look at those in a sec. But yeah, once again, different real brands. But with these, you got your float, like for example, with your flotations. Got your standard, wide, and XL wide, and back to standard. That's going to be pretty much the same for all your other tires. So you can have a nice clean look, or a nice like, little proper off roady looking. And also with Deep Precision Farming, got the John Deere Minor Sentient, yes or no. That would be an extra 10,900. I'm not sure if it's something that pops up like, with the tractors and that. I don't think so by the looks of it. But anyways, main colour. Design colour, so if I get it as a pink. That's going to be your like chassis framing that at the front. Labels, where we're going to over rims, you know. Then yeah, you got your distributor with the cultivator. Colour options, all like so. And then you got your other options here for your distributors and that. So you got a. Oh, sorry, sorry, I should have gone over that one. So that is 6.2 meters, 9 miles an hour. Don't worry about the horsepower requirement, it weighs 2.4 tons. And then, yeah, you got your storage distributor. So you got a 18, 21, or a 30 meter. And slot counts are 10, 11, and 12. For the distributor and cultivator one there, that is four slots, also forgot to mention that. And yeah, so go over these once more. Main colour changes though, so the hoses, then you got your tube colours. So go with orange, that'll change the tubes. And then you got your rim colours. Of which I cannot see at ah, wait a minute. No, I thought I was something on there, but do you know why we got room colours in that when there's no room colours in that? But yeah, so I've got all of them out all of them out to show off. Do love the level of detail here. All the hoses, all the little hydraulic hoses and that. All absolute beaut with the connectors. And of course you know I went with the Tonkier white tire options. But anyway, so let's show off the distributors in that first of all. So I think this one here is the biggest one. There we go, get you hooked up for distributor in that. But also notice we've got different options, so And there we go, so yeah, L1, right stick left to right. Just that, so you can unload or unload if you wish. Like so. Just move forward a little bit. And then, yeah, L1, right stick up and down. Just as the pitch of it. L1, R1, right stick. Up and down. Extends and retracts the ooze pipe. And then that's the R1, right stick, left to right. I think that's the thing on the back here, I think. Oh no, sorry, the notes here at the front. See that adjusts that. Which I think is that the exact same. Oh no, slightly different that, my correction. Hang on, once again, just having a little quick check there. But yeah, I can put that back away. We're we'll head into a field. There we go. Put down our. Oh, well, actually helps if you lower said implement. And there we go. You put down your fertilizer in that. And also with precision farming, there is no 
you know, pretty sure it leave, but see it like it is one option. But yeah, I think next we'll go with the dollies and that because yeah, that's got a nice little feature to it, so let's just drop this off over here. Go and grab one of these with the dolly. Because if we hook this up like so, R1, right stick, left to right. Sort of adjusts the position of the uh, yeah, that's the fifth wheel point. And L1, right stick, left to right. And that's what does the back thing here. So that was also looking for first one that with the first tank in that. Actually got the two mixed up, but anywho. Leave it unfolds. Also L1 next, ladder down and ladder up. So for example, you can hop out of here, climb up, and then you can inspect your tanker as so. And all these is purely to transport stuff, so if I say head over here, obviously you can distribute it like so. But I wonder. Oh no, can't be bothered. But yeah, pretty sure you can extend that out. The pipe uh, goes to here and have that sort of simitation tell. But anywho, I'll drop you down. And I think lastly, we'll grab the cultivator one here. So this will cultivate and also put down some. Uh, what's we've got here? Digest 8. Also, a quick show of the little tank of storages. Very similar to the base game, just with colour options and that. And differences in capacities and that. Anywho, so yeah, we'll go to the field. Unfold cultivator. And I'll to lower said cultivator. And yeah, obviously want the whole the point thing there. So yeah, let me just lower the set coal there. Does this work on its own? No. Or does it? I should want us go to a proper field to tell where we've been at. Also, crop destruction is left on. Let's turn that off so we can actually see. There we go, now we can see. Oh yeah, even if you don't have one, you can still cultivate this. Only requires a horsepower and what is it, a four meter work width or something like that. Yeah, go to our story tanks. Go to our mods and distributors. Or so overall, not too bad actually that. Fairly cheap-ish. Yeah, we'll come around once more. And now we're going to lower, turn on that. So we are not only cultivating, but we're also putting down digesting that. So I was going to throw our fields. So yeah, that is the cult in your pack by HR Forest and Zoid Bull. Next try to quickly get these next two mods here wrapped up because this is the Fent Harvester Pack this is by Just Farming 22.06 megabytes to download so yeah first of all we're looking at the Fent Harvester Pack here and that's got three different versions of the Fent base game Harvester and that and it says in the mod description itself it is exactly the same however there is an additional of equipped animations and that and yeah it can be controlled either by the mouse or the interactive controllers and it says the animations you got are right and left door right and left mirrors monitor storage armrest i drive armrest engine hatches main main access ladders engine access ladder steering wheel driver's seat armrest and the passenger seat and yeah, it doesn't say anything about requiring the Kubota DLC, but I guess if you want passengers, you will be needing the Kubota DLC, just to note. So yeah, essentially it's 
base game Combine Harvester with just a few animations. But yeah, so if we look at the base game version here, so defense power level. Fortune of 5 ground, 12,500 capacity in that. Then if we head over here. So you've got your different versions here, so you got your iDrive, your serial, or the power level with the full animation. And the difference is that's just a normal one with steering wheel. That's the power level thing that it's known for. And the I drive if I can show it here and that. It's basically where you didn't have steering wheel, you just got levers a ton, nine ton and ten ton. Even though the difference in weights is half a ton, but seventy and ten T, that's how I call it that sometimes. Obviously with your small ones you got the options for your extensions. Upwards to the 90. So, yeah, big, small, like so. So, 17, so 12,500 years or 17,100. And as you go to your big ones, it's just 17,100 capacity. And the only thing you got is the exhaust cover, so without, with, and without. Tire options are all base game same. So I'm not going to go those too much. And yeah, it is the same for everything else. So, first of all, I'm going to hop into... No, not this one here. This is the 80. No, 70, that was the look for. So, this is the iDrive. So, lights on in that. Beacons. And as you see, we've got a fair few things open, so L1, right stick, left to right. Actually, sorry, let's go to our mirror, so control group 1. L1, right stick, left to right. So yeah, I can extend the mirrors in and out. And L1, right stick, up and down. Adjusts the pitch of in that. Does nothing to the right, but I guess in that is going to be. Yeah, because R1, right stick, left to right, up and down, does all of that. And L1, R1 is nothing. The doors, L1, right stick, up and down, opens and closes the door. And then right stick, oh, sorry, R1, right stick, up and down. Oh, wait a minute, does that, that does that door do? Didn't realize that had a door there, but apparently we do. Not a big one. Next, you've got your passengers and armrests and all that. So, L1, right stick up and down, adjust the armrest. And L1, nah, that's just the control that is. So, L1, R1, right stick up and down, raises, and there's the passenger seat. And then R1, right stick, left to right. That raises and there is a panel. And to bring it forward and back, it's R1, right stick, up and down. Now for your monitor, so R1, right stick, left to right. I'll just use that mirror monitor over there, not mirror. Or different like, like, calibrations and different angles. And L1, right stick, left to right. That one, oh sorry, L1, right stick, left to right, adjusts that, so that's actually pretty neat. I do enjoy the animations, um, especially when they work and you actually get a full set of animated stuff. Now for exteriors, R1, right stick, left to right, opens and closes the right hand side cover. L1, L1 and right stick coming down, even though it doesn't say on the left. Opens and lowers the cover there. L1, R1, nothing. R1, right stick, left to right. That's going to just to open the rear end and bring that route. And then R1, right stick up and down, does that. Opens the rear door. And then lastly, we've got exterior 2. So, R1, the 
R1 race are coming down, opens and closes that. So I think that is like the engine cover, I think. L1. So yeah, there we go, got access to your engine now, press left to right. Up and down. Can't seem to do anything, I don't think. So yeah, once it's all unfolding that. You know, do a bit of role playing, a bit of storytelling that where you inspect and look after your equipment. So you're just doing your regular checks now. Make sure all the hoses are connected or damages or anything like that from rocks and that picked up from the fields. But yeah, overall, nice bit of kit. And yeah, apart from the animations, this is exactly the same as the base game. So yeah, that is the Fent Harcer pack by Just Farming. Next. Our second to last model of the day, we've got the new Horn Horser pack by Just Farming. And it's the exact same we just looked at with the Fent Horser pack. So, this is a little pack of two horsers. This is a CR1090 and the CH770. And yep, yeah, same as the base game. Terms with characteristic, engines, work speed, power, and all that. Only difference at all is the animations, as you can see here. Well, yeah, first of all, harvesters and that. So 265 grand and 443 grand. 265, 443, so all exactly the same. Same hoppers and that, same capacities, same speed and all that. So, yeah, we're going to the C1090. So, you've got your configurations, different ones. So, that's going to be for your hoppers and that. There we go. So yeah, let's just check in a sec because it was like a bit of a delay in changing. And then yeah, we'll browse. So you got your core tracks or twin wheels. And yeah, I did notice there is a bit of a soonness with the swapping of items. And very similar to the CH770. It's like different in animation stuff and that, but so yeah. First of all, we're under Control Group 1, Mirrors, L1, right stick, left to right, does that with the mirrors there on the left. And then L1, right stick, up and down, does that, opens and closes the door. Stick. That does the door there, so, actually, unlike with the vent, yeah, it does have a little door in that. It's more of like a little hatch in that, you know, that bit of cool air in that. Next we'll go with the interior control group 2, so R1, oh sorry, L1, right stick, left to right. That adjusts the monitor screen over there, so have it as you wish. L1, R1, right stick, up and down, does the control panel. Can't find nothing to do with left and right with L1, R1. But oh yeah, L1, R1, right stick, up and down, does that. Add in R1, right stick, up and down, does that. I know, <laughs> that's just me there. So yeah, next we'll go to our exterior. R1, right stick, left to right. That opens like a little cover there. So that is like the fan in that. So yeah, actually, you can sort of see the bits so yeah, the interior is fine there. That's a good thing to know. And then R1, right stick up and down, does the ladders. L1, R1, right stick up and down, does the right hand side. And then L1 does the left hand side. Like so. Then I think now say control group 4 is. Now it changes the steering. Yeah, so adjust the steering. L1 up and down does that with the steering wheel, brings it in and out. L1, R1, right stick, left to right. That's going to be your armrest. And then that's the R1. Right stick up and down does the shades of curtains there. And then, yeah, if we go back to our doors, see, I'll to close that. Nope. There we go, close that. Go back to your control group 4. 
that? I thought there was a window there on this side. Ah, no, does that with the seat? My bad. Thought it did something else. That's gonna be your armrest there, like so. L and R1 right stick left to right. Yeah, so I think there with up and down with L and R1. I thought there was, but no. So, yeah, again, very similar. I ain't gonna go over all this and that because. At the end of the day, it's the same as the base game stuff. The only difference is your curtain, so... Oop. If I go to our steering and curtains... So R1, up and down does that. Then this is the one I was looking for. So R1, left and right on the right stick, does the right windows. Because, yeah, it's the base game stuff, but with some new added animations if you want to use those. But yeah, so that is the New Holland Horser Pack by Just Farming. Next, we head to our final mod of the day. Now for our final mod of the day, and this is the WSVS or Wide Span Vehicle System, aka Nexat Sprayer Nat. This is by Dogface and BDBSSB. 29.12 megabytes to download, and this will require. Of course, the actual voice band vehicle system by the same modders. And yeah, 29.12 megabytes download. Slot count is 17, goes down to 1. And essentially, this is this is what we're looking at. So, this is a sprayer that can spray herbicide and fertilizer. And also, of course, if you want, you can attach it to a lorry trailer now as part of the WSVS system. Chopper uh, <sighs> going past now, <laughs> ignore that. So yeah. You'll find this under tools, under sprayers. Go towards the end. So yeah, seventy five thousand five hundred to buy. Capacity of nineteen thousand eight hundred litres, weigh so six and a half tons. Do up to forty meters and can go down to two meters in terms with working with and so do it at seven miles an hour but yeah so color options typical next act color so for example the red so that's gonna be your main tank your small tank that's gonna be the little tank there on the side and the spray arms purple let's go that that would change that so yeah obviously you can attach it to this or this and it's very easy there we go and yeah, if I bring that in a sec. There we go, get ourselves roughly like that once more. As long as those red dots are relatively aligned to the holes where it's going into, you will have no issues getting this hooked up, so... Go a little bit closer than that. And also it help if we actually add things extended as well, so... Yeah, let's actually extend those. Those red circles are relatively lined with the hooked area, so there we go. Get you hooked on. And then yeah. Get that put back on. And yeah, where the he like booming at just disappears in that. Like I'm not sure why, where it's going in that. But yeah, if we de detach it in that, there it is. Reattach it and it just goes away. I guess that makes sense and that because obviously if you're using this down lanes and that, that's kind of the purpose of the next system here, voice for vehicle system. But yeah, it just seemed a little bit odd than that. But yeah, here we go. We've got it attached to our voice man vehicle system here. And yeah, so let's go and get this into position. Now it's going to do its thing. And yeah, to a field that hasn't been put on or anything, so go and unfold set system. But yeah, so we have the, like, just have that sort of, I'm not sure what, if it's me or what, but 
fortune. Test is it me? That's called it stick stick drifting. Oh no, I guess it's just the system itself, like how it functions and that. But yeah, anyway, so yeah, because yeah, like turn left there, very difficult. That turn right, no issues whatsoever. Is that because of what we were steering or what? So, so yeah, we're still having that issue. But yeah, anyway, so we'll get the square going. And yeah, let's put all wheel steering back on. But yeah, if I put it under AI hey, worker on that, so. Ah, wait a minute, that's blocked by that, so. Let me get rid of those. Like so. There we go, so get this realigned and yeah, when you try to do it yourself, it just has that weird steering that. But yeah, fuck yeah, that's Yeah, see so the steering is like very janky in that. And maybe that's what it's going to need an update or something. I'll mention this to Dogface and that because, yeah, I'm not sure why that is with steering and that. But yeah, again, it's just something to know now. You see, we're putting down our fertilizer and that. Four meters working width. And of course, you can do, uh, what's it, herbicide as well. But yeah, if you do want to do four, four meters. You can adjust this all the way down to just two meters. So yeah, put that back on again. Yeah, it goes all down, I think, at the same time. Try it again. Oh no, it goes from middle to left, so good thing to see there. But yeah, at the end of the day, crack a bit more, that cracking kin that. Again, it's just issues I'm having with steering on this. That's the only thing I'm setting it down, but apart from that, it's a cracking bit of I'm not sure if I'm the only one having issues or if other people are having issues. But yeah, if there are any issues like this with me, let me know then. When I speak to your dog face and that, I can say it's just not me having issues or whatever, it's other people and that. But yeah, it's just very weird it is. I don't want to go. Yeah, so you try to get it all lined up in that. Now, yeah, we're in line. Just making little readjustments in that, but yeah, definitely something's wrong with this, I think. But, anyways, that is all of our mods for today. Yeah, then we're going to continue on this. So yeah, overall, not too bad now, but yeah. Just some minor things that need to be tweaked with this. But yeah, that is the WSVS Square Nap by Dogface and BDB SSB. And that is all of our mods for the 6th of June 2024. And as always, hope you find this helpful and informative. So it should be performed. If so, smash the like button. Feel free to comment down below. If you want to share some, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, then please consider. But for what you just do, hope you're stay. But for now, it's me, Farmer Evelyn Stream, and I'll see you all very soon.